ready. Here with Moria Jutana Garn, hung tough. I know that was a tough finish, but still ground out a really solid round today. Uh, just, you know, had some uh, had some good birdies out there. Made four in a five hole stretch on the back nine. Just tell me about that uh, that little stretch you got on. Well, um, it's it's actually fun to like get going and make some birdie a little bit. You know, uh, it just like one of the day as I kind of like you know a little bit of like live and ride and you know just like have to try to find the middle yeah how are you uh i mean how are you able to make some of those birdies i mean a couple on a cut or one on a par three 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 on par fours i know some of the par fours are playing a little shorter today did you see that out there well um i think a lot of the par four uh seems to play a bit shorter this week because i think because the wind and you know dry out uh also like the air is pretty pretty light here and um yeah, just some, you know, like some of the path forward, just like you had a wish into the green, so it's like, you know, like give you more chances. Um, you were short by no means as far as ball striking goes, but do you, do you feel like it helps when you play a little bit of a firmer golf course kind of keep you up at the top of the leaderboard? Firm golf course? Yeah. I think it's, uh, it's like good and bad, you know, like the green is always, always like really firm here as well, so it's hard to like try to stop the ball or like, when you when you had like mid uh, long irons into the green, um, but also like you know if you hit a good drive, it seems to go a little bit farther. Um, I think it's just depend of like bouncing and stuff. So yeah. How um I know again with that finish, how do you give yourself grace in those moments and be just be proud of yourself that you ground out a couple of bogeys? Yeah, just like you know, first thing I have to take whatever it's good enough and. And you have to know that human earlier, it's always, you know, it's, it's happened. Um, and after that, it just, you know, like you learn from, from the mistake, hopefully, and, and uh, just trying to, you know, focus on like what under my control and just keep, keep doing it. Is that something you work on with um, Pia Nielsen and Lynn Marriott, your your mental coaches? Yeah, like I think this week we're talking about like, you know, what we want to do for this season pretty much is not just for this week. Like we always like plan for for the future and and it's it just more like something I, I know what I have to do. It's just like we need a little bit of tuning. And then finally going to be in one of the last couple of groups tomorrow. Obviously, I've found some good things this week. What will you carry with you as you look ahead to tomorrow in contention? Well, you know, like, as long as I'm still in contention, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I know it's not the finish we want. Uh, I want, but, you know, it's it's still there. And, like, just, you know, like, have hopefully have a good, good day tomorrow. And it just, you know, like, I'll just go out and have fun. Perfect. We'll do a couple in time.